Brad, just can you talk about the swing of emotions after the three-pointer was called off and what just what that did to your team's momentum? We knew it didn't count, um, or at least we thought it didn't count. And then, um, so, so we kind of were thinking 94-90 the whole time when, when we came back to the huddle and they went to the board. In fact, I told them, I said, after Selinger hits these two, it'll be 94-92. Um, that doesn't change how we're going to play. That doesn't change what we're going to try to do. And we're just going to try to win the next possession and, and build from there. Um, you know, the biggest play of the game was they, they ran a nice little action that they run for Paul George quite often. Uh, not, not quite often, probably um, you know, once, maybe twice a game. Um, and they didn't run it before. And, and they just set a nice little cross screen, down screen with good movement before that. And he made a big shot. And, um, you know, that's that's why he's who he is. You know, he gets that chance, and you give a guy like that that chance, and you just know it's not going to end well because you know, there's a reason there's only a couple of guys, or five guys starting in the All-Star game on each side. Did you, uh, after that shot, did you, Coach, assume that you were going to lose those points? Because there's the issue with the rule there that you play a little bit more, and then the points could be taken away. No, we knew. We knew we weren't. I, I thought, I was pretty sure it was not going to count. So, you know, I don't know what our players were thinking on the floor because the game was moving on. But once we got them a chance to talk to them, we told them it wasn't going to count. Uh, just in terms of his activity and his energy and his influence on the game, I mean, how was this for Rondo as compared to his past games? Well, I think it was his most minutes. And, um, you know, he was he didn't want to come out ever. So that was a good sign. And um, you know, I thought he was good. I think I think he's played pretty well. I thought he played pretty well Wednesday or not pretty well. I thought he was really good Wednesday. Um, I thought he was, you know, um, the, the dominant player on the floor and, and made huge, huge plays. Um, thought he was good again tonight. Got inside the team in the defense. Um, the eleven assists could have been 13 or 14, the difference between our, our shots tonight and our shots the other night aren't that much with regard to where you're shooting from, who's shooting it. It's the level of contest that you're facing because of their length and their aggressiveness and their commitment to guarding as a unit. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I said this before the game, I'd, I'd be very interested to know where they are historically over a two-year run because defensively they're a very elite um, in every way that you would evaluate them. Obviously, Jared Sullinger has to be a little bit rusty, but what were your thoughts on his game tonight? And also, at what point do you think uh, you could see putting him back in the starting lineup? Well, you know, I don't know about the starting lineup thing. We'll, we'll go from, you know, we'll, we'll kind of play that the way we played it um, and, and continue to, to, to play those, those, you know, when Kelly gets back, all four of those guys and also Joel. But, um, you know, I think he, he was rusty. But, if, but I think he, he did a lot of good things. He got some huge rebounds for us. And yeah, that's not an easy team to score. You know, I, I don't know how many of his 10 points were in the paint, but I would think you know, a couple tip-ins, a, maybe a, a, a jump hook and another shot. That, so maybe eight of his 10 points. Not an easy team for him to score inside the paint on. Um, you know, they, again, the, their length and, and athleticism around the court. Um, even when you're open, you feel like somebody is around you. Um, and so, you know, it was a good first night, but it, he's got a little rust. He's going to shake off. Hopefully tonight was the night. Pretty good. Brad, you're obviously focused on what your guys need to do possession by possession, but considering the quality of the opponent, is there any part of you that's subconsciously waiting for shoes to drop? You know? no, so, so this is my thought after tonight. Um, you know, I was out there and I'm watching it and I'm thinking back, because I watched the first two games we played against Indiana on film. The first one we threw up some shots and had an eight point lead at halftime, but it wasn't real crisp, but we made a bunch of shots. And uh, second half we got dominated. Um, there, we got completely dominated the whole time. Um, and then tonight, we just looked like a different basketball team. Uh, we looked better, we looked more fluid, we got better shots, even the ones that were contested were you know, we, we got we got pretty good looks. I don't know how many turnovers we had for the game. I guess eight turnovers for the game. I mean, so I was pretty pleased with how we looked as a basketball team. Like, like uh, I think the the, the the part that makes me feel better is at least there's some visual evidence of improvement. You would think 
you know, kind of counterintuitive considering the bodies you're losing? It's like if you lose a few more, can you can you win this whole thing? <laughs> um, you know that the you're right. We, we've lost a lot of bodies. I, I will say this. Um, I think we've done a great job of bringing in guys that you know, um, not necessarily world beaters, but um, great guys great teammates do whatever you ask them to do are excited to be here no no one understand the the, the the responsibility that goes with wearing the uniform like they get it um, and, and as a result you've got you know a lot of guys playing you know really hard regardless of who's out there and um, you know I think it also you know it's a credit to guys like Gerald I mean they want to play hard with you know with him out I mean uh, you know, we, we owe that to him and so, you know, I'm excited because we're getting better. Um, but but it's, it's rough because you, you want to win that game. I mean, that game was a game we had a shot to win. I mean, we were down two and George hits that three. I mean, if we get a stop and get the ball back, you know, we got a shot to win that thing against a really good team. Coach, what were your thoughts on Chris Humphrey's hustle tonight and just his overall performance? I, love, I loved it. Um, I thought he was great. I thought he did a great job on Hibbert. Um, he was really locked in and engaged. I, I played him right through the quarter and didn't even think about bringing him out until I saw him huffing and puffing on his way down the floor with about nine or ten minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And um, you know, he, I thought he, I thought he did a really good job. And, and I think you know, he and so he was seven for fifteen. Bass was seven for thirteen. I really thought they were so locked in. Th those would have been nine for thirteen or nine for fifteen days against normal teams. Um, but you know, the, again, this. Some good defense. It's hard to score on. Brad, what was the situation with Rajan's knee brace, uh, and did you guys have any apprehension of putting him into the game without that knee brace? I didn't even know anything about it. Sorry, nobody told me anything about it. I know that he was. It was like I don't know if the Velcro came loose or whatever, and he was fixing it when we had the ball when I called timeout. It was six minutes to go in the game. But I didn't. I didn't hear anything from him or our trainers. Uh, there were a few instances that we at least saw on TV about of Rondo, you know, not letting guys high five each other on the opposing team, not letting the opposing team help guys up. Do you think that really um, kind of give like puts a fire in players? Does that really enhance competitiveness? Well, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I, I think that that's you know um, you'd have to ask him. I mean, I, I think the bottom line is is our team needs to go pick our team up, and and you know I think you'll notice um, there was one that was really good. Somebody got knocked down right before a timeout. It might have been when Sullinger got knocked down. The whole bench went and got him. Um, and I thought that was that was great. Um, you know, again, we're going to be out there, and, and we're you know we've got to we've got to continue to grind and build. And, and it's not it's not easy when things aren't going your way from a win loss standpoint. But if we continue to show team and show improvement, then um, you know, then we can get over the hump in a game like this. You know a week from now or two weeks from now, whatever the case may be, I just want to make sure we're continuing to move in that direction. Thank Thanks. you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.